Hey, what's up? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I am not alone. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, everyone. Okay, so this is Anne. She also has a YouTube channel. We came here together in February. 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 I'll link down her channel. Which side is it? Somewhere I was up here. <laughs> Somewhere up here. Um, so we actually going to do our makeup and talk about our six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it seven months now? I guess actually, yeah, it's yeah, like seven, seven months, months, almost, yeah. almost eight months. And yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Anne's makeup is bomb, so I'm no. always like, no. help me out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tell people where you're from. Okay, and so my name is do. my name is Anne. I am from the United States. I am first generation Nigerian. Um, like Kalesa said, I came to Korea in February with the EPIC program and I live in Sejong, so I teach in Sejong. So I'm an elementary school teacher in Korea, but in the States, I'm a middle school and high school science teacher. Science so. teacher! Yeah! <laughs> um, the first thing we're gonna talk about, um, what has been the most exciting thing about living in Korea? The most exciting thing about living in Korea I don't know, just being on my own and like I'm in a completely different country living on my own. Yeah. Like no restrictions, no one's really like in charge of me. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I have it's the so much freedom. Yeah. Yeah. I guess same. Same. Um I've always not always lived home, but I was living home right before I came here. Mm -hmm. Not that my parents are like strict or anything but it's just nice <laughs> second question what has been the most shocking thing about living in korea korea is not as perfect as a lot of people make it out to be yeah like korea is a country that has its own problems there are bad people here there are good people here and people i mean i get it you know it is a safe country compared to like the United States and other countries, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of weird and bad shit that happens <laughs> here too. Like, it's like yeah. any other country, yeah. but um, most of like even most YouTubers, mm -hmm. we do try, not try, we only speak about the good things because I don't know, everyone just focuses on the good things. Yeah. Um, but it's just like any other country, mm -hmm. maybe. They do not use guns to kill, but they do kill. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I guess that that was also like a call, I don't know, shocking for me because when I heard about Korea, I only heard good things mm -hmm. BTS, blah, 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 <laughs> you know, but it's just not as perfect. What is the funniest experience? I called a taxi, it was raining, mm -hmm. and then the taxi came through. And I saw the number plates, like it was three seven something something. And I approached him, and then he drove off. And I was like, "What?" Then I try to move closer, and he and he tr keeps on driving off. Then I finally opened. And he was like, no, "No, no, 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 book taxi." I'm like, "Yes, I booked it." <laughs> I don't like. I don't understand. <laughs> like I don't understand. Do do they think we cannot book taxis yeah. or? Like he assumed it was the Korean person. Yeah, he like, assumed like no. nah, like it's not for you. A Korean person booked this taxi, like, it's not free. And it's like man. And then there's a friend of mine actually, um, South African. She says every time she calls a taxi, they take her to the airport. No matter where she puts the location. <laughs> that is so funny. I would be so she like she'll she'll put on like the address and stuff and then like she'll like mind her own business and then she's at the airport like oh, I would be so annoyed and then I would have be, to pay extra because Yeah And then she's like Yeah No, I'd be so annoyed. The makeup thing, was it true or false? When they say bring your own makeup. Very true. Very if true. you are darker skinned, bring your own makeup. This guy asked me, I think he asked me where I'm from mm -hmm. and um, I said I only speak English because I don't know, I don't know what he was saying mm -hmm. and he was like, oh, England? And I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from England because I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna like try to explain to him 
that no nah, that's not what i meant so they always assume though that i'm from america they always like me go i'm like nah nah ma africa <laughs> that was the one time um you felt like you didn't belong um in this mm. country where you were just like ox awkward I feel like there's many times, but also I've kind of like accepted that, well, not accepted, but like I realized that I'm not a Korean and I'm never gonna fit in. Yeah. So yeah, I can't yeah. take everything too personally. Personal. Yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of times that, you know, things happen and I'm just like, you know what, it is what it is. But there are times where I've been like, okay, this is just racism. <laughs> like, yeah. my friends and I, we went to Busan and it was the weekend of Cinco de Mayo and so I'm from the border like I live well El Paso is right across from Mexico so like I wanted to have tacos and so there's this bar that is supposed to be for foreigners and they advertised that they were gonna have tacos and nachos and that's like my favorite food so we get there they told us they're sold out and we're like okay no problem we'll just eat something else yeah. and I think we had been there for like 30 40 minutes and then some Koreans come in and as we were about to leave and I went to the bathroom and my friends noticed that they gave the Koreans nachos so they got like very pissed off and were like you know asking them like why didn't you like why yeah, yeah. what did you say and at that point I was kind of I was mad but I also didn't want to get like deported or <laughs> like kicked out or them call the police or something so I was just like let's go I guess every day um, some areas in Korea they do have more foreigners than other areas in my case man I'm the only foreigner I see <laughs> like, I don't see any really? foreigners on a day-to-day -day basis maybe if I'm lucky once every two weeks I can see like a white person or but if I want to see a black person, they're my friends and I have to text them. But I never just bump into another black girl or no. Nah. I mean, we have the teacher's dinners. Mm. They try, I mean, the fact that you invited, they try to accommodate you. Yeah. But it's awkward because no one's just trying to eat there and speak another language that they don't know. Mm -hmm. So and it's like your co teachers are the only ones that can. Yeah. Talk to you. So it's like they yeah. kind of like. Oh, y'all go talk to her. So it's almost like uh, they like, try to talk to me. I can see it all the time. Like my principal tries, but it's just like at least just, they try. Yeah, they try. So I, I don't want to say I feel like I don't belong. I see them trying, but I still don't belong. Yeah, I feel that definitely. Yes, yes, yes. Do you think learning Korean is necessary? Honest, honest, honest opinion. It honestly depends where you are if you are very rural you need to learn korean like mm. if you are jeju's isolated if you're in the isolate the very isolated parts of jeju mm. like that rural and even on the mainland then yes i i it's not necessary but it will definitely help you a lot yeah yeah seoul and big cities no you don't need to Korean. Yeah, for me personally, I think like I'm not in an isolated area, so I can survive. But yeah. like I say, the teachers' dinners, I, the, the times where I feel like, man, I'm so useless. I can't even say how was your day. <laughs> <laughs> Something so simple, like, hey, how was your weekend? Like, I just don't know anything, and I'm not trying. And it's because I get away. I can, I speak English. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people in Jeju City actually speak English. The, lady downstairs from the sea speaks so like good english so like mm -hmm. i'm just like oh well, yeah it, i don't yeah. need it then i get to moments or like yesterday my taxi driver was actually trying to make conversation and i was like man i happy. do not speak korean i need to learn that phrase in korean oh i don't speak korean yeah Hangul <laughs> Yeah, after that part, I'm like, Hangul ma yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I know when they 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 ask me like Hangul, I'm like nah, nah. Or when they say enjoy your meal, maskisha, maskisha, oh, mm -hmm. something sounds like that. Yes, maskisha, I'm like, 
Kamsanida. Man, so honestly, I think it is necessary to a point because my students, also my third grade students, the younger students, try to talk to you, yeah. and it's like we use papago, but like it would be nice to just yeah, be able to. Just, just ask him how was your day? What did you eat? Mm -hmm. Home girl just knows how are you? That's all I know in English because I know they know how to answer me in English mm -hmm. and That's how far our conversation goes like I'm happy. I'm fine. I'm Yeah So actually um, I'm definitely glad that I learned the little bit that I know like I I don't know. Um, I I can understand what someone's saying to me, and I can read Korean and I can write it, but it does take a while for me to like process it. But even that is like still enough for me to even just be able to communicate with my coworkers, like even the ones that don't speak English. Yeah, and it's made such a huge difference. Yeah. Have you made Korean friends? Why or why not? I don't have any Korean friends unless you count my co-teachers because I actually do consider them like good friends. friends. Yeah, then. But yeah. other than them, no, I don't have Korean Why friends. Why not? I feel like Koreans don't even want to approach me because they're too scared to talk to me. Mm -hmm. Or they're wanting to talk to me just because I'm black, like not mm. really to make a friendship kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's sometimes hard to see like who's genuine and who's not. Yeah. But. So all my friends, I actually made them drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's that alcohol confidence. Mm. So we just start like after a while, of, like uh, maybe a round, a few rounds of drinks. Mm -hmm. Then we start talking, then we start like dancing together and then same night we change exchange numbers and contact details and we're like oh let's hang out that's how i met most of my friends and if i didn't go out i probably wouldn't have any friends because like you said they are scared to approach you mm -hmm. also i don't think even in south africa people said i don't look like i'm not approachable so yeah i, I feel like I, <laughs> I have resting bitch face yeah so it's like I wouldn't even want to yeah. talk to you. Like, <laughs> How do you want to talk to me? <laughs> Why do you have so many brushes? <laughs> because they each serve a purpose. What purpose? So, like these fluffy ones. Please look. Wait. Hold up. <laughs> Please look. This is all her. She's not even a makeup artist. So. Oh, I my even left some gosh. of my apartment. This isn't everything. Why? <laughs> okay. So well, since I've like been here, I've actually been traveling a lot. It wasn't part of the plan. Never thought I'd travel. I just thought I'd just live in Korea. And you've done the same, right? Yeah. Um, where have you traveled to? So I've been to New York. Um, I went to Japan with a friend of mine. We went to visit our friend. So all of us are from Texas. Um, I've been to other, a lot of cities within Korea, like Seoul, Busan, Daejeon, Jeju. 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 Yeah. Mm, Gwangju, Man. That's that's a nice thing about living on mainland. Um, have you always wanted to travel? Yes. Like I think that's one of the main things that I wanted to get out of moving to Korea because mm. I'm already here in Asia. Like I might as well like go to all these places that are like so close. Like yeah. Japan is an hour away. Oh my god. Hong Kong is three hours away. It's like. A dream. And what's the one thing that has changed about you since you moved to Korea? I think I'm still the same person. Mm -hmm. I think it's like I've noticed little things about like my behavior has changed. Like I'm always bowing. Mm -hmm. Like even when I tell myself like don't bow, I bow. <laughs> <laughs> or like I bow to students and they're like Yeah. Like, and they're like we should be she bowing doing? to you. Like no. <laughs> Like I catch myself when I'm laughing, like I clap when I laugh. Like do you mm, like do them? Yeah, like <gasps> I do it all the time now. <laughs> it's so oh my god, oh. Okay, that's a big difference because I see that all the time. Man. I do that all the time now, and it's so strange. Mm. I think uh, what's strange about me, my English. Um, back home, I didn't speak English twenty four seven, so. Mm. Coming here, I think it 
obviously it has to improve because now I speak it every day, every single day. Mm -hmm. And it's also not, it also changes when you speak to Koreans. Yeah. So you have to simplify things. You cannot say, oh, how about we go to, nah, you have to say, oh, let's <laughs> go shop together. Done. Like, if I make a full sentence, they like, whoa, too much, too much, too much information. So I speak crap English when I'm with my friends just so they can yeah, understand me. That's true. Yeah. And I even noticed when I was with, when I came to Jeju and I was with my tour guides, I mean, I'm so used to kind of simplifying things a little bit and just speaking slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I think he kind of picked up on it because they speak English and Chinese and Korean. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he was like, you know, you can speak a little bit faster to me. Oh. <laughs> like, and I was like, oh, sorry. What do you miss the most about the US? Being understood. Like just, just being speaking. able to speak and have people understand me. Yeah, and also yeah, yeah. not having to like go through hierarchy. Like I can't mm -hmm. even talk to my principal or vice principal. I have to talk to my co-teacher and my co-teacher will talk to the head teacher mm -hmm. and then the head teacher will talk to the no yeah so i also just miss um just man just being me and not not that i'm not myself here but just just speaking my language yeah the food blending in man i'm always standing out like every day i know someone's gonna look at me <laughs> So it's like, oh, I'm just accepted it at this point. Like, yeah, sometimes this thing actually changes. Sometimes it bothers me. Sometimes it doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I see and I'm like, oh, really? Every day you're going to look at me? Sometimes I don't even notice it. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, they're looking. So it's like, I guess it depends on how I'm feeling and yeah. how many people are looking at the time. Sometimes maybe teenagers will be laughing and I'll be like, they're laughing at me yeah 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 same <laughs> yeah like sometimes i'm on the bus going to school i remember this yeah. was when i first moved here and i guess there weren't that many black people in living in jochiwan at the time so for people to be seeing like four or five black people on that the works. bus every morning going to work it was like wait what's, what's happening <laughs> yeah so i remember i would always sit in the back and there were these Korean like high schoolers and first I don't know if it was actually them taking pictures of me but it always felt like they were like yeah trying yeah. to like yeah. take pictures I've, of I've me. I've had that Ugh. I think I've had a guy who actually and there's nothing I can do because I don't know how to ask you I don't I don't mm -hmm. it's just like okay no I like on Papago you can like save phrases and your like favorites oh. so on my favorites i have please stop taking pictures of me that's an evasion of my privacy really like, please delete that picture i haven't, have you haven't used it? it no <laughs> i haven't shown it to anyone but like i have it just in case like uh, i need it i mean or I don't touch my hair like wow that's really, yeah okay the hair thing jeju has a lot of ajumas like grandmothers mm -hmm. i don't know if you noticed yeah so they just i think they ask me because they're always like ah. i'm like yeah whatever then they just touch touch and then leave me then they talk about me i can see they're still talking about me <laughs> also i do this thing i can't show you now like my hair will be loose and then i'll be on my phone so obviously it'll oh, fall yeah, down yeah. and sometimes it's annoying but sometimes if i see that they're looking i usually just like tie my hair with my hair and mm -hmm. they're like ooh, <laughs> like, like they put on a show yeah they lose <laughs> i do it on purpose literally i'll see them looking and i'm like okay Give you want a show <laughs> I tie my, my hair and they're like, oh, they laugh. And every lunch, that's what I do at school. Um, when I'm about to eat, I tie my hair with my hair, and everyone's always like, at first it was like, oh, now they're like, oh, yeah, she does that. What's the best thing about your school? I think the best thing about my school is just my co teachers. Like, all of them have just been so supportive, and their English is really good. Even the substitute teachers that i've had like even though they say you know my english isn't that good like i'm sorry like yeah that's so the thing about koreans they'll have a full-on conversation with you and be like my english is not that good i'm like, like and when i say my korean is not that good i mean i mean, I mean <laughs> it i cannot have a conversation <laughs> with you 
Um, so that most Koreans can speak basic English, but they mm -hmm. think it's not that good because I think they're just focusing on the accent. Yeah. They want to have the American accent, or well, they don't want us to like judge them. Yeah. Them. Yes. Like, because I've seen even with my students, if one student loves, then it's like, like sometimes they cry because it's like, I don't want. I hate English. Yeah. Yeah. The best things about my school, my school. What is it? My one school. I love the food. Oh yeah, the lunch is bomb. <laughs> um, my co-teachers, my homeroom teachers, are also good. Like I don't have like a major, major problem with anyone. Mm -hmm. um, and but we said like we spoke about this because it's, it's both our first time teaching. Mm -hmm. We don't even know if we're in good schools or bad schools. So once we probably stay longer here, we can start comparing um, this experience. But yeah. so far, it's good. I look out. I don't have if I. If I'm going to stay at the school, then I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, so, like, yeah, I'm good. Like I, I honestly can. And my students are good, man. I love them. Mm -hmm. The students are like the best part about it. Even if my co-teachers were like mm. not good, mm. like the students mm. would make it mm -hmm. the best. Yeah. What's the worst thing about your school? Well, for me, I actually am a teacher. Like, I'm certified to teach. Like, I yeah, went to yeah. school to teach, so I'm very used to being in charge of my own classroom and mm. not really having to not to report or yeah, and just doing what you know someone else tells me to do. Like, yeah, I'm used to being the one in control. Yeah. So you don't have that kind of thing in. And you have to work kind with someone. Of, yeah. And I don't mind co teaching with someone, but I guess my style of co teaching is different, different. from mm -hmm. what a lot of teachers in Korea usually consider co teaching. And also, I feel like since I'm a certified teacher, you know, you would think that, you know, they would think, okay, maybe we can give her a little bit more control in the classroom. Or yeah. at least put me in a middle school or a high school where I'm actually certified to teach and not an elementary school. But I feel like I'm just like the game teacher, which I mean, it's easy. Like it's I, easy. I do enjoy my job and I see that there's value in it because the students do learn with the games and stuff. Yeah. But can I do something more sometimes? <laughs> like Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, this cannot be my job. Yeah. Like I'm getting there's paid no way. to play games. Yeah. Like, like okay. Every day. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Um, I guess the worst thing about my school, my school, my one school is far, like two hours away. I still can't believe that. <laughs> That's super far. Um, what else? Um, so I get back home really late. Uh, so I don't like my schedule. I have after school classes on a Friday, meaning I get to school at nine and I just sit there. And I only start teaching at 3 p.m. 3 to 5. So I get home really, really, really late. Um, Wait, so on Friday you just sit there? Desk warm until 3. For like. And it's not even regular class, so I don't have to use a textbook. I can do whatever. So they can walk in, I'm like, let's play, let's play Monopoly. Or... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so Fridays are like. Yeah, because like I told you, it, yesterday we played a game, um, a movie, Karate Kid. They were like, teach her popcorn. I'm like, y'all <laughs> think this is a, a movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> y'all know I'm in a relationship, um, and is also in a relationship. So, I don't know, like, I did a video about this, but I just want to get your, your take. Mm -hmm. How is it, like, what's... Uh, how, what's it like being in a long distance relationship? Mm, I definitely do want to make a video about this too. Yeah. And it's hard. Like, it's one thing being in a long distance relationship when you're in the same country, mm -hmm. but it's completely different when you're in a different country, time a different zone. continent, different time zone. Like, yeah. it's crazy. So, for me, I'm obviously here in Korea. My boyfriend is in New York. So, that's. 13? Yeah. Either 11 or 13 hours behind, so... No. And I thought 7 hours was a lot. Yeah. Now I'm super grateful. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your relationship changed since then? Like, mm. 
Is it stronger? Is it what did you have to change to make it work? Yeah. What did you have to change so in order to make it work? Well, I mean, technically, we've been in a long distance relationship, our entire relationship, technically. So, even when we were in El Paso, he was in Juarez and I was in El Paso. So, for him to drive all the way to my house, depending on how long he would like, wait in the line to cross the border, mm. it would just depend. Like, it could take an hour or maybe two or three. So. And then when he moved to New York and I was still in El Paso, we were only two hours away from each other. Mm -hmm. And then of course, Korea, that just made it <laughs> a lot. So I think yeah. it's made us stronger because like we, obviously I wouldn't be in a relationship with someone that far away. Mm -hmm. Like why would I waste my time with someone I don't want, I don't see myself with, Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Like, so we definitely have a lot of trust and faith in each other that like, we got this. We, we got this. Yeah. We got this. I spoke about this in my video. Like I said, if you didn't watch that video, go watch it right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 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 stressful. I, I think we had the toughest time in the beginning mm -hmm. because I was adjusting to, you know, not wanting to get lost, figuring out my cacao and whatever. So I'd literally just leave, like, leave the conversation halfway and just be like okay where am i mm -hmm. and then he'd be like what well, you could have just said and i'm like no i'm getting lost like this bus is moving type of thing and now we know when to talk um, we have a schedule and like she said like trust is very important i think it's very possible um but you guys must have the good foundation oh yeah yeah so we were also in a long distance relationship before also an hour away um so I'm from Kempton Park and he's in Rodebot, so yeah. Yeah, so it's tough. Yeah. But it's possible. We still here. How long we've we been here? Seven months in and we're still in the same relationships. Mm -hmm. Still happy, so it's possible. It's very possible. Yes. How much money have you saved? <laughs> Do you want me to tell the truth? <laughs> lie lie to the people <gasps> all my money i've saved all of it <laughs> yes so like we we're actually talking about this it's you come here with a plan legit you come here with a plan like i'm gonna save i am going to but you come here and you're like oh i could just go to japan i could just buy myself a computer i could you know i can take a weekend trip to seoul yeah. every weekend <laughs> every weekend like totally. i'll just stay in korea like for another year mm -hmm. so now i understand why people come here for one year initially and then end up getting here staying here for like 10 12 yeah. years like that's real it's real because man saving money is not easy everything is just in your face like yeah korea isn't as i mean there are things that are affordable and cheap about it but if you're not wise about it then it can add up yeah nothing. yeah so yeah I agree. <laughs> I agree. So if you come here and you want your plan is to actually save, like just do it is from your first pay. Mm -hmm. Once you like now start in three months, like man, yeah, it's man, so hard. You'll st you'll end up where we are right now. <laughs> but I mean, I don't. Do I regret like all my trips and stuff? No, no I don't. Yes, regret yes. Like, I would do Hong Kong again. I would. Yeah, I would. Yes, no regrets, no yeah. regrets. Actually, that's the next question. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Any regrets about the whole thing, like um, coming here? Do I, re I don't regret coming here, but I do feel like I'm missing out on so much stuff back home. Yes. I actually tweeted about this like a few days ago, like everyone, all my friends are getting married, they're getting engaged, they're having oh, yes, babies, they're that. getting pregnant, they're graduating, like mm -hmm. I'm missing out on everything and I feel like I should be there, like I yeah, feel guilty. Yeah, yeah. But I I don't regret coming here, but I do feel like out of place a little bit, like everyone's living without me. Like, <laughs> and they're moving on without me. Any advice? Anything you wish you knew before coming here or you should have done? earlier mm -hmm. i think the biggest piece of advice that i can give is not to expect what other people on youtube have. even us even me like 
because I've seen a lot of you watch my stuff and you like my stuff and I see a lot of people commenting saying hey Palazana I'm coming to Jeju mm -hmm. just look I don't know like we're not the same people yeah. I like Jeju personally but would you move to Jeju would you live in Jeju I don't think I honestly I don't think I could yes yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> not, it's not for everyone no. and I don't want to move to mainland mm -hmm. I am just only gonna live in Jeju like I love really? it yeah I love Jeju it's my my place so like I know I might make it seem good but it's hard to come to Seoul it's hard to go anywhere yeah right even I, you just coming here I had to fly yeah. yeah I have to fly but you like 20 minutes out mm -hmm. so man don't let youtubers make you think yeah I don't like, know I feel like a lot of people think and I'm not like talking about the epic program or just teaching in Korea in general like it's a bad thing but I feel like because on YouTube you see all the good experiences people think that's, oh there's no it. way I could have a yeah like or they now they're gonna think oh Jeju um, all the schools are good or uh -huh. whatever like it's all dependent on the school all dependent on the co-teachers all dependent on you yeah you might go to the exact same school that I taught in and not like it because you're a different person I cannot so <laughs> yes I agree with that 100%. Uh, yeah. I'll definitely say um, make your own choices um, personally I started knowing about Jeju afterwards so I just put flexible mm -hmm. and I was placed wherever and I was good with that because I didn't really know Korea so I think if you really don't know just put flexible and just pray to God that mm -hmm. you like the area but if you want an area like Seoul or the obvious first of all it's hard to get into Seoul yeah. um, I don't know. I I'd really advise someone to do mainland because I have a a friend who's in who lives on Jeju and doesn't really like it um, because she likes like partying. She likes meeting. I don't know. Jeju doesn't have that party, party, party scene. Mm -hmm. We have like a bar, a pub, whatever. So yes, do your research about the area you want to go to. Have at least three options. Know why? Because they sometimes ask in the interview why yeah. you want that area. And Even if you're flexible, they ask you why. Yeah. Why are you flexible? Why do you? Yeah. And also, don't just think Epic is the only way to get here. Like there's yeah, so, there's many, so many, many other ways. ways, and all the answers are on Google. Like Google <laughs> has the answers. Like <laughs> if we could do the research and get here, then then like, anyone, anyone, anyone can do it. Yes. As long as you have the right qualifications, mm -hmm. then you can get yeah. I don't even know if they have the same kind of like requirements the as Do you have to have a degree? You don't have to have a TEFL. Some of them don't require. Mm -hmm. You see. Um, so yeah, we're done and we just want to like close the video. So overall, how would you um summarize your six, seven months in Korea? It's been amazing, honestly. Like I can't really complain and I'm just really excited for the next six well I guess five months More years. That I have left yeah <laughs> like the rest of the year and then however long I plan on staying here like I'm really excited for everything yeah same same likewise um we actually have been talking about we mentioned actually in passing how the differences between living on Jeju Island and on mainland so if you want to know more about that then there's a video on her channel I'll link it somewhere here go watch that and then this will definitely give you a great idea as to what you want whether you want to stay in Jeju Island or if you want to move to mainland um, but yeah thank you so much guys for watching if you stayed this long then shout out to you <laughs> um, yeah make sure you like comment share and subscribe I'll see you next time Bye. Peace.